Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing the first of my new Pick It Up or Put It Off series, previously known as Will I Buy It? Slash buy or buy. There's lots of connotations on this video. I felt like it was time I stopped stealing other people's ideas and made up my own. Hopefully no one's used this one before, but who knows? Probably not. Probably they have, probably. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going through my wonderful friend Jess's Instagram. She is FYI Beauty on Instagram and she is a beauty news launch sneak peeks Instagram page with all of the deets for the UK launches, UK market. So I'm gonna be going through and just looking at what she's been posting that's coming up soon, now, any day, any second. It may have just come out and we're gonna decide if I'm picking it up or not. First up, the Morphe by Jeffree Star brush collection. That is a quick no from me. I don't really need brushes. I, just, I have nothing against them. They, are, they just don't, like I didn't see them and think, yes, that's the brush I've been looking for. I need that. I haven't got that in my collection. Um, and I'm not really someone who just buys collections, you know, to collect them. Um, so yeah, there was nothing in there that grabbed me that made me feel like I need them. Next up we have the new shades of the Huda Melted Matte matte and metal melted shadows so these are the brights that she's come out with the double-ended liquid shadows i've just never had any interest in these i haven't seen them perform particularly well as some people that i know to be incredibly skilled artists have really struggled with them so god only knows what would happen if i tried but yeah they just don't really appeal to me as a product so i won't be picking those up the new mac collection um eyeshadow palettes so these are coming out soon it says spring and these are the art library palettes so there are three new 12 pan palettes a very bright colorful one a kind of warm toned one and a more neutral toned one again don't really grab me enough that there's anything in there i haven't already got in my collection they look nicer the more sort of cooler toned palette looks like up my street but i feel like i've got it all already so that's a no from me as is the new jua limited edition blush palette this is out already a beauty bay for 35 pounds and i it looks lovely i love blush but i do feel like at this point i have every blush known to man every color blush that i'm ever going to wear like the peaches the neutrals the mauves i've got it i don't need another palette of six that's what i've told myself so that is a no from me. The Too Faced Born This Way Full Coverage Powder Foundation. How do you guys feel about this one? It just is coming soon at the minute. We tend to get Too Faced quite late compared to the US. Are you interested in this? I generally steer well clear of powder foundations. They're not, not really my thing. Um, but I do know they are good for certain skin types and lots of people swear by them. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence. I don't think I would just want to buy it for me because like I said, powder foundations present more problems than they solve to me. But if you guys are desperate to see it, then I potentially would pick it up for a view purpose. I'm not interested in any of the new Stunner lip shades from Fenty. They released a hot pink, a coral, and a really deep purple shade, which are all stunning, but personally, I'll just never wear them. Um, the new Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette, definitely right up my street. I love all the tones in here. I love they've got that like pop of coral shade in there. It looks lovely. I've not, I don't own a single Urban Decay Naked palette. Shocking. I know. I don't own one. I never have. This is definitely the first one that has really grabbed me. I'm not going to rush and pick it up because I don't need an eyeshadow palette. I've got lots. But yeah, if they were giving them away, which apparently they were actually giving them away last week, then for sure I'd take one off their hands. The Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette looks stunning to me. However, again, two cream products in there, cream blush and a cream glow, means that I just know I won't use it that much because I prefer powders. So I think that's gonna be a pass for me. I'm also gonna be pass passing on the entire Too Faced Pretty Mess collection. Nothing in there really speaks to me. And I'm also passing on the new, the two new MAC Hyper Real Glow palettes. 
Um, you know, I, I prefer single highlights. I just am never going to use a whole palette. Um, and I, I'm really happy with the ones that I have. Next up, the Marc Jacobs Blurring Beauty Powder. Very interested in this. I know it's going to be extremely expensive. It says spring slash summer, so we've got some time to save. That one sounds incredible. It says, uh, gives a touch of glow to the skin, has pearl pigment to filter imperfections. Used to set your makeup and reduce shine throughout the day. It sounds lovely. And the fact that it's got the brush slipped in that little back pouch, I'm, I'm just obsessed with that. That is awesome. And that also adds to the value because it's bound to be very expensive. So the fact that it comes with that brush that makes it so travel friendly as well. And even for the day, you don't have to take a powder brush. I mean, what do people do? I'm not someone who ever touches up throughout the day at all. I, like, I don't have oily skin, I don't get shiny throughout the day or anything like that. But if you do, are you carrying around a huge powder brush as well? I just wanna know because this is gonna solve lots of people's problems. So that is definitely on my list. I'm very interested in that one. And last but not least, the new NARS blush palette. It's called the Exposed Cheek Palette from the Spring 2019 collection. I actually saw this on Trend Mood, um, coming soon March to April. It says along with some lip balms and lip duos and this, I mean that palette. I know I literally just said I didn't need any new blushes, but I might have to change my mind, especially for that palette, because just everything in there looks stunning. It also looks like maybe it's got a bronzer and a highlight in there as well as blushes, which means it doesn't count. It's got other stuff in there, so... <laughs> and there you have it. That is everything that I'm either picking up or putting off of the new launches, either coming soon or just arrived or popping into our lives any moment now. I'd love to know what you guys are picking up and what you're putting off out of all of the stuff I've mentioned and anything else you wanna tell me about. I love to hear because you guys know I'm very, very nosy and I have no life. So I like to live vicariously through you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in a future video. So take care for now, bye, 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 bye.